Welcome to our ninth short tips and tricks webinar on Tuesday, the 14th of July 2020. My name is Sebastian Bode, and as always, I would like to welcome all participants from all over the world, as well as my colleagues Claudius and Dirk from our service office in Bautzen and from home office. The colleagues are ready to answer all your questions directly. But how does that work? <clears throat> no matter which device you use, you will find the possibilities to send us questions directly in the webinar tool, which we will answer directly back to you. Important, we do not communicate with you publicly, but only privately. Of course, we will stay after the webinar until we have answered all your questions. We will then only switch off the microphones, but will still be available via chat and question window. This webinar will also be recorded and, as always, uploaded on different platforms. These include our help page, help.orgadata.com, and our YouTube and Vimeo channel. As announced the last time, we want to deal today with the working hours in Logica. We had this topic before, also in our summer webinar at the beginning of June. If you, did the, uh, if you miss the webinar, can find it on our help page, help.orgadata.com, here in the nice new media area in the category of the webinars through the summer with Logical. So, but when we have talked in the beginning of June, why are we talking today about this again? In the beginning of June, we talked only about the basic functionality. But when you enter the working hours, you will see that Logical offers many, many more possibilities. And therefore, we take a special look on how you can enter them. It starts, as you know it, here in the area of the user database. You can find it here in the labor hours. And today, we will only look here in the, in the area standard for aluminum windows and doors. But everything I show you here can, of course, also be applied in special series or also in the standard always category. Basically, Logical recognizes which possibilities should be applied in the different categories. So if per piece, per length, or per area, the time can be given. A nice example are the corner connectors. Corner connectors are an article per piece. So you only have the possibility to bring here also the labor hour, labor hours per piece. Another example is the surcharge per rail profile. Here you have the possibility to bring it per piece or also per meter. And the very great thing is you can also bring it, bring both time into this, uh, into, into this area. And both times are taken into account parallel. So, but it, it becomes more exciting when we take a look here in the in very, very yeah, free area standard per position. Let's start here with the, with the first entry. We have at first the possibility to say how often you want to use this time. So I think that is the same way if you take here the, um, the, the same time uh, two times here. So if you'd only take, not only take uh, 10 minutes, but also 20 minutes here, it's the same result. <clears throat> Very important is here the description. You have to say to Logical for which working step you want to use the time. As an example, we take here the assembly. And then you come to the, to the main point here. You have to say how you want to calculate your working hours. You have the possibility per meter, so around the whole element, per piece, so for each element, or about the area, about square meters, minutes per square meters. So you see in the background that I have some example elements and that we see in a few minutes in result, let's take here 30 minutes per square meter. And also here it is very important that you can use not only one of these, but also uh, two 
all three of these. So you can bring them together and everything is taken into account parallel to each other. Okay, but what can you do if an element gets very big? So at some point, you will not be able to get there with 30 minutes per square meter because a second colleague may be needed, you need more time and so on. Therefore, we add here an extra entry in this list. Also for the, for the description assembly. And we need, as an example, uh, from the width up, um, more than 1.9 meters, we need 10 minutes per square meter extra. So we put here in the 10 minutes. And if you only put here in the 10 minutes, logical, take this into account every time. So we have to limit it. In this case, we put here in the width 1.9 meters. So only when the element has a width higher than 1.9 meters, then the 10 minutes are taken into account as a bonus. The same we do now with the height. Also extra 10 minutes per square meter. And if the element is higher than 1.9 meters. Here's some, here are two things very important. The first thing is that you have to put in here the, the dimensions in meters as it stands here. And the other thing is, if you put here in two limits, then two, the both limits has to, has to be okay, then the time has to be taken into account. So in our example here, it is very important that we take, that we make two entries because then also elements with our, which are very width and not so height are also taken uh, into, gets the 10 minutes extra here. And very important step is every time you, when you develop your working times, that you regularly check what you have, uh, what has been entered. Don't enter everything and then check the result, but regularly look at sample elements to see how the working times are developing. So we do this here with with the example elements I make here. We take a look at the labor hours report and have here a very great overview. What is here in the result? I think the first is very easy. We have a small element, one square meter, and this is only the basic time, 30 minutes per square meter. The second and third position are two square meters large, so 60 minutes from the basic time, and two times 10 minutes from the impact since the element is over 1.9 meters large or wide. So this together are 80 minutes. A little bit more complicated is the last element. This is four square meters large, so 120 minutes from the basic time. And after that, four times 10 minutes from the width addition. And after that, four times 10 minutes from the height addition. So altogether 200 minutes here. The reason is because in this case, both conditions are fulfilled. So we have in the whole 80 minutes from the, from the width addition and from the height addition. I think now everything is clear here. And yeah, to understand it really good, a small conclusion. The working time is now entered in such a way that the waste time is always taken into account. And depending on the size, the appropriate time bonuses are then included. And if the question now arises, whether this can be done differently, I can say, yes, it is possible. Instead of this, I call it building up time calculation. You can also use an, I call it replacing time calculation. And this is not much more complicated. So we take also for this a look. Again, here, in the labor hours in the, use, in the area of the user database, take here again a look. And we start with the old basic time. Important is that we only need this 30 minutes per square meter till the element is, has a width of 1.9 meters and a height. 
of 1.9 meters. So if the element is, uh, is wider, then we need 40 minutes. And if it's higher, then we need also 40 minutes. The next step is here, the old extra time for a very wide element. I called it before, I said before, we need here 40 minutes. Up from a width of 1.9 meters, but 40 minutes only till a height of 1.9 meters. Because when we uh, remember back, if an element is higher than 1.9 meters, then we have not only 40 minutes, but also 50 minutes. So this 40 minutes are also uh, are only realistic for elements which are wider than 1.9 million, 1.9 meters and higher than 1.9 meters. We make the same with the other here, also 40 minutes, higher than 1.9 meters and the width up to 1.9 meters. Okay, we close it and take a look here. The, the small element, it's easy. This gets the 30 minutes per square meter. This both gets both the 40 minutes per square meter. But when we scroll a little bit down, we have here a little problem. And when we take again a look here, the additional data, you see we have no working hours here. The reason is all of our time entries have a limit on in the width and or in the height of 1.9 meters. So this element is higher and wider than 1.9 meters. So we need an extra time entry. And for this, we go back here in the labor hours and enter here an extra entry. In this case, 50 minutes per square meter only when the width is bigger than 1.9 meters and, and also the height is bigger than 1.9 meters. Okay. And then we take again and control look on the labor hours report. And we see the same result as before, only on another way. So everything is possible. Which way you want to use, it's up to you. Both are possible, both are good, and you can also use both of them for different um, for different working hours here. So try it, and if you need perhaps some help, contact us. Also for this, we offer some online trainings or live trainings where we can show you much more detailed how you can bring in your working hours into Logical so that in the future, Logical Calculate your time and you don't have to do it by yourself. Trying and testing brings me to my next point. Of course, the day-to-day -day business cannot be halted just because uh, you would like to test and try something out during the working hours. Especially if you are already working with the registered working hours, this can lead some problems. But there's a very simple solution. You can copy the whole folder where your logical is in. So you need not an extra dongle or something like that, just only copy the, copy the folder and use the copy as a test environment where you can test your uh, labor hours and other things. So, and after you are ready with the working hours, then you can transfer it back to your, I call it productive logical. How does that work? In the service update area, you can back up your database and then you can choose what you want to back up. In this case, only the labor hours here. And in your productive, in your productive logical, then you can directly import the database. But you have to be sure that nobody changes some other things because everything is yeah, replaced in your productive logical, I call it. But in very easy way, and with this, yeah, everything is possible. So we have three minutes, and for this, I have 
some additional information for you. When I prepare these webinars, I try out many, many things. So, and often I find some things which I have not shown before in the in such a webinar. And also uh, in, the, in the last week, I found something about the labor hours. I'm sure everybody of you knows here the additional articles. It's the easiest way to bring, as an example, an extra angle here into, uh, into the element. So, taking color here. And the important thing which I want to show you is here the possibility that you also, that you have the possibility to add here also some labor hours. Because the, the angle is not mounted by itself. You need the time. So um, bring it then here also into, into Logical, especially, especially for free articles, which you can't give any working time in the database. That's a real wonderful thing. And there's more. Perhaps you remember uh, on the webinar where I showed you the possibility with the wall connections. I've prepared one here. And we take a look here. And perhaps you remember that you can add some additional articles here, which are where the art, when the article is taken in, into account. We do this also here, also the angle, and you have also here the possibility to add some labor hours. And here we do it as an example per meter. We add the angle. And then, if we add this project wall connection to an element, not only the angle is taken into account, but also the working hour. And this is the last what I want to show you today. We add here the wall connection. We have here in the section also the angle. And when we then go into the additional data, then you see here the extra time for cutting. And if we take a look here in the time suggestion info, then you see there's the, the angle. We have five minutes per meter. And if the element gets bigger or you change th something in the, in the project wall connection, then it is changed automatically in the elements. I think that's the easiest and best way to bring times and material into your project into the elements. So, okay, I think with these many, many great functions, your wishes should be fulfilled to bring your labor hours into Logical. And if you work with it, and it, was, it would be nice if you give me a short feedback. So, yeah. At this point, when I take a look at the clock, the 20 minutes are almost over again. Shortly before the end, I would still like to give you a short preview of the next time. Kernwalls are accompany many of you regularly. With large facades, it would be nice if you could divide them up and perhaps have the one or the other option in addition. This is exactly what the function of the pos position segments is for. But more will not be revealed at this point. Be curious, and if you haven't done it yet, please register directly via our homepage. At the end, the usual final note, if you have further interest, you can simply participate in the following survey and then uh, we will get back to you soon. So let's rock the week together, stay healthy, until then, bye.